Eugenie Sage. Thank you, Mr Chair. I um, endorse the comments that Dennis O'Rourke made and um, similarly uh, would call on the Minister to make a few comments about um, what Otakaro uh, vision is, and particularly for the residential red zone, because in part two, it's Regenerate Christchurch, which can be a proponent um, for plans in the residential red zone and only Regenerate Christchurch, but it needs Otakaro Limited's agreement and consent both to submit and outline um, for the plan process, and it uh, also has a role in providing some um, you're almost a veto power there. So Otakaro and what its ambitions are will become quite critical. And that um, outline document is really important because the plans as they are developed must be done in uh, accordance with those outlines. Um, and, uh, so that, yeah, so we, we would certainly be interested in what the minister can say about what Otakaro's role is to be. But what I'd really like to talk about in this call um, Mr Chair, is clauses 16 to 22L, I think it is, and the development of our regeneration plans. The Mayor of Christchurch, Leanne Dalziel, described this bill as the most significant opportunity for the city since the earthquake sequence five years ago and as being a chance for a real legacy, and would agree with that. Um, and why it's really critical is because, and I think it was November last year, the press said that about 75% of Christchurch people felt that there wasn't a strong vision to lead the city. When the City Council conducted the Share an Idea consultation back in May 2011, there was a very clear vision that came forward from Christchurch um, people about a very green and sustainable city. A lot of ideas about um, slowing down transport, more active transport, um, more green spaces, more sustainable buildings, greater energy conservation. And we have seen a lot of those hopes uh, not carried forward in terms of the uh, work that has been done around the anchor project. Certainly there are cycleways being developed by the City Council, but that vision, that really colourful and engaging process that the City Council ran with Sheer and Idea hasn't flourished uh, to provide the commitment to a sustainable rebuild that the Green Party and many members of the public would have liked to have seen. So it's absolutely critical in terms of Regenerate Christchurch and the process that it uses from here to develop these regeneration plans, that it involves people in a similar way to uh, share an idea, that it is transparent, that the engagement is authentic and active, and it is implementing um, community wishes because Sarah hasn't always done that. One of the changes that the Green Party wanted, um, which we didn't achieve in persuading the Minister about, was ensuring that there is a hearing in the public engagement um, process, because one of the problems with Sarah has been that decisions have been made by faceless officials and there hasn't been the opportunity for the public to present to those making the decisions to have their say and know that they have been heard and who is actually going to make the decision. So the bill, in terms of the process for the preparation of uh, regeneration plans, allows a hearing process, but it doesn't actually um, commit to that. That's not a requirement. Um, but we do encourage uh, Regenerate Christchurch to highlight the importance of good process in this plan development. Um, but would also like um, to record at this opportunity our thanks to officials from CERA. It would be fair to say that the Green Party has certainly uh, been quite critical of the way the substantial powers that CERA and the Minister have had under the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Act um, and the way those have been exercised. But CERA officials have been very helpful in the process of discussion with the Minister in developing uh, flowcharts to explain the new plan process, uh, the changes that the amendments would make and the way that process would work. We recognise that it's a quite a difficult time for officials now as the organisation winds up. Many have already left. Um, we would be pleased if the Minister and the Chair would take a call uh, in terms of how he envisages the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet uh, operating, how big that uh, additional 
uh, uh, responsibilities that the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet has under the bill to monitor its implementation, Mr Chair. Eugenie um, Sage. We know that uh, several dozen staff from CERA have transitioned over to DPMC. Um, what the Minister envisages the role of DPMC being in relation to the implementation of the bill. Um, and just uh, how extensive their engagement, um, the, the department's engagement will be. Obviously, it will be providing advice to uh, ministers and not necessarily just the Minister for Earthquake Recovery, but it does have a new role with the winding up of CERA. Um, in terms of the Regenerate Christchurch and the regeneration plans, in uh, Littleton, for example, it was one of the areas where uh, the community board led a process for developing a master plan for the Littleton community that did engage uh, the people of Littleton. And it wasn't always uh, about big projects. There have been changes made with the new square in Littleton, uh, the process around the uh, recreation centre, uh, a lot of what will happen in terms of public spaces the community board and the city council ran that process. They involved the community. And the community has now seen some of their ideas actually taking shape, um, particularly with the new square, uh, and a really good place for people to gather, for public events, for uh, people to meet, um, and just, yeah, a, a building of community networks. Regenerate Christchurch needs to have that same commitment to good engagement uh, so that it's the public's wishes for what happens in this next phase. If we are to fulfil the hopes that uh, many people have in terms of the way they made submissions that the City Council has and that the Mayor um, has in terms of her comments about uh, it being the chance for a real legacy. And it was, I think, the um, mayor that described regeneration as not what the government does to the city, but what the city um, does itself. And that is what this bill, with the regeneration plan process, uh, provides for. Because it does allow people to really influence what happens in the central city and in areas like New Brighton, where regeneration plans will be prepared, and in that critical residential red zone where the, council, the Crown has spent tens of millions of dollars uh, purchasing properties, and where certainly, as Dennis O'Rourke noted, the Crown will be wanting a return. But it is an opportunity to be visionary, as Christchurch has been in the past, with the protection of Hagley Park as that core green space in the heart of the city, with the protection of areas of the Port Hills, which provide um, a major backdrop to the city, an area for recreation, um, an area now for uh, tourism, with um, facilities like the gondola, with the proposals for the big new mountain bike park. We need to do something visionary with this residential red zone and its future. And there were submissions on the bill which highlighted the need for environmental well-being to be at the heart of the regeneration process. We're pleased that that's now in part one, but it also needs to be at the heart of decisions around the residential red zone. There's a major flooding hazard issue in Christchurch. The residential red zone lands can be used as a buffer for the Avon Otakaro River. We can add to the areas that are already protected in Travis Swamp, uh, which provide a buffer against uh, flooding, as well as a major area for recreation and a heart um, for biodiversity in the city. So there have been many public um, ideas for what should happen with the residential red zone. Uh, the Avon Otakaro uh, Park proposal with the City to the Sea uh, network of cycleways, community gardens, um, urban parks, sculpture parks. If Otakaro Properties, if Otakaro Limited is to realise those sorts of ambitions that Christchurch folk have um, wanted for the, this area that is now largely devoid of houses, we need a good public consultation process. We need Regenerate Christchurch to commit to authentic and genuine uh, community engagement. And we'd be very interested in the Minister's comments on how he sees uh, Otakaro carrying out its responsibilities um, under the bill. Thank you.